Hey, what's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we talk about books and we talk about reading and we talk about all of the awesome things that books can do in classrooms. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing so you can be notified anytime I post something new. One of the biggest questions that I get on this channel and on Twitter and Instagram are how and where do I get all of the books that I share here, especially the books that I'm able to talk about that haven't come out yet. And I feel weird talking about it, but people ask, and that's what this channel is all about, is trying to help people out and help uh, maybe people understand the children's literature world a little bit better. So all of these books that you see here have been mailed to my house in the last week. Usually I'll open them each night when I get home from school, but things have been a little wild and they just kind of started piling up. So I thought maybe it would be fun to open them in a video and talk a little bit about how I get them and what you can do if you're interested in getting books like this. But mostly I just want to open the books and talk to you about them as I'm pulling them out of the box, right? I think that the unboxing thing is becoming a big deal. Sports cards, Pokemon cards, all that stuff. So I'm going to bring these books over here and we're going to open them and maybe talk about them a little bit. All right, let me move my camera here. Does that work? Yeah, all right. So uh, I have been getting the books in the mail for, I don't know, maybe like seven or eight years. And it started with me talking about books online. And then people wanted to send me books because they thought maybe I would talk about them online. And I think that's kind of the point is publishers are looking to market books. They have a budget to market books. They want to get their books into the hands of teachers and influencers and people who read who might talk about them and get them into the hand of others. So they're not just sending them out to people that they like or because it's fun. Well, it is fun to get books in the mail. I think that they do it hoping that you'll talk about them. No one talking really fast. No one ever asks me to do a review about the books. They just send them to me and then I decide whether or not they are something that I want to talk about. So we're going to just start opening these packages, I guess, one by one. I'm very excited because I get to use my pocket knife. I wish that I could carry a pocket knife at school, but obviously that's not legal and it probably shouldn't be legal. And I just, I want to be the type of person who carries a pocket knife. I don't know why. I do. I feel like I always need this when I don't have it. So here we go. Book mail volume one. I don't know if there will be a volume two, but without further ado, here we go. So nice little red package here. Pretty on the eyes. I don't think I'm going to need a knife for this one. Got a little bubble. All right, what do we have here? Okay. A lot of times they'll come with like a... Uh, little letter here trying to get you to read it and tell you what it's about. Ooh, ooh, look, we're starting. We're starting with a heavy hitter here. Newberry, medal winning author. That's my kid. <laughs> Newberry, medal winning author, Catherine Applegate's new early reader, Doggo and Pupper. Well, that's fun. So super excited for this. I, I have seen her talk a little bit about this online, but I I didn't know that I was gonna get a copy. Well, that's really exciting. Yeah, Doggo and Pupper. Wow. This letter's actually from Catherine Applegate, so I'll definitely read that. I'm gonna put it back in the book in the box here. Okay. Hey, how are you? Can I sit in the chair? Yeah, you sit in my chair with me? This is Hobbs, and he's gonna sit in my chair as I as I open some books. So that's cool. I want to help. Too. Do you want to help? Do okay, you want to rip it open? Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay, so this is from Little Brown Books for Young Readers, and Little Brown is awesome. They actually published my book, The Creativity Project. Oh boy. Seriously, y'all, we're starting we're starting off awfully strong today. Uh, can you can you just look at this book for a second? Hurricane, John Rocco, you know him from Blackout, which won a Call the Cut honor, which was an absolute breathtaking book. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. It instantly screams to me, oh, we better read this one. This one, my, anytime you have a book by a Call the Cut honor winner, you think, oh, is this going to be on the Mount Call the Cut list at the end of the year? I don't know about you, but that cover, that cover's got me excited. So 
have that over here. And then, oh, I, I, I don't know this book, but I know that I love this illustrator, Corinna Lucan, written by Marcy Campbell. The Bad Something Has No Place Here. This book is called Something Good. That's just breathtaking. Doesn't that look pretty? Not pretty. Not really a word you like to use, is it? No. Look, this book has a dog in it. Yeah, you're gonna read that one. All right, and then sometimes we have these. These are my favorite kind of packages right here because they're 100% recyclable. Like bubble mailers are nice and they keep the book safe, but you can't really recycle them everywhere. The book right here, this is one of the recycling. So, shout out to Eardman's Publishing for putting Facing Fear in Immigration Story. Oh, this looks great too. Can we see the back? Can you see the back? Oh my, that looks pretty intense, Hobbs. Let's see it there. Definitely gonna be reading that. Facing fear, Karen Lynn Williams. What, 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 what is happening? What do you think is happening there? It looks like they were traveling in the back of a van and this guy looks kind of angry and they have to rush out. So, and, and it looks like the lady is having a baby. So that seems pretty intense. Can I see? Yeah, you can see that one. We'll have to read that one, okay? All right, folks. Next up, this is kind of fun, so I hope you're getting something out of it. Uh, nothing else, you get to see my, my cute kid and I talk about books. Here we have, ooh, I, I re oh, it almost fell, yeah, be careful. Fade Away, E.B. Vickers. Isn't that a great cover? I is really, that a tractor, Emily? That's not a tractor, no. This book is written, what is it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a chapter book, yeah, yeah. So there were thousands of people watching my best friend, hundreds of cameras snapping and shooting. The light turned off. His every move. But when the show is over, we all look away so nobody saw it happen. Nobody knows how or why or even exactly when he disappeared. I love Vickers. I love her middle grade books. I'm really excited to check this out. Yeah. I also am a big fan of blurbs. Um, so Jeff Zettner wrote the blurb for this book. And I think he's really awesome. So blurbs really matter to me. And Julie Berry also wrote a blurb. But that young adult book looks sweet. I've only read one young adult book this year. So this might be the next one that I read. All right. I haven't really got to use my pocket knife very much. How are you? You want to pull this one out? Let's see what we got in there. Oh, that's Tim Miller. That one looks good. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. I like that. You like that? Me too. Tiny Cat, Big City. I don't know about you, but yeah. this book looks amazing to Hobbs. It looks amazing to me. We're gonna, can we read this one tonight before bed? Yeah. Do you think Harvey will like it, your brother? <laughs> Look at it. Look, it's so cute. Tiny Cat. Tiny Cat. Tiny Kitty, Big City. We have six cats, don't we? It's a lot of cats. So we are yeah. a big time cat family. All right, next up. Always exciting to get the Can white. Can I open it? Yeah, I'm going to open it with my knife first, though, okay? Okay. We don't want you to get caught. We're going to cut away from ourselves. We want to practice good opening. Can I open it now? Okay. Is this just only one book? Just one little book in this cute, cute box. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at it. Let Liberty Rise, How America School Children Help mm -hmm. Save the Statue of Liberty. Oh, you love the Statue of Liberty. You're very interested. That's awesome. Hobbs is a big fan of the Statue of Liberty. We watched a bunch of YouTube yeah, videos. Yeah, I wish I could go inside of the green Statue of Liberty. Yeah, it's green now, but it wasn't green when we got it. Yeah. We should read this book and we can find out, maybe. Yeah. Would you want to? Yeah, Hobbs wants to go inside the Statue of Liberty. He is a, a master builder. And building is his favorite thing, so going inside things is his thing. All right, so next up. Can another, I open it? Yeah, another recyclable mailer. Good job. Can I open it? Disney Hyper. Oh, yeah, let me shut off the hot water here, here, real quick. All right, you got that one? I'm yeah. sad that our light turned off. You open that one, I'm going to get ready to open this one, okay? Okay. Maybe that'll be a good one. I got a bear! A bear? I'm scared of bears. Oh, it's Bruce! Bruce the Bruce. The Bruce swap. <laughs> So this is what we call an F and G. It's a picture bam, book bam, bam, that bam, is bam. not out yet and it's not finished, but it's one for re reviewers and people who talk about books online Daddy. to read. 
and Daddy. to get a feel for. Daddy. So we just print the pages and fold them and gather. Guys, I got a question. Okay. What is a bear and Bigfoot and a snow Bigfoot and a lot of, and a lot of tough guys fight each other? I think the snow Bigfoot maybe. I don't know, but I do know that I love Bruce, Mother Bruce, Hotel Bruce, my kids, uh, uh, Santa Bruce. We're big fans. Bruce and the Big Storm. We're big fans. Yeah, hey, I watch the show. I watch. I I always I I I think I I read that book. You read a Bruce book before? We're getting a lot of really great books, Hob. That's very exciting, don't you think? Yeah, I can. Oh. oh, can I open this one? Yeah. Turkey goes to school. <laughs> Doesn't that look fun? You're so much more fun to open books with. Turkey goes to school. You go to school. Let me see that turkey. Be careful. I think that's one that the pages fall out, so I want to be kind of careful with that one. Okay, so Turkey goes to school. Looks like it's got Hobbs' attention. Okay, He's already may, ready for the next I... one. So we had two copies of this, so maybe we'll keep one and donate one to our school library. Let the Liberty Run. I, you know what? I will, uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll give this one probably to our school library. Let yeah. Liberty Rise. We'll give it to Miss Madden in our school? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Oh, Signs of Survival, the Memoir of a Holocaust. Two sisters, one deaf, one hearing. This is their true story. I think that's a tractor, too. I think it's a chapter book. It looks really good. And kids are always interested in learning more about the Holocaust. I just want to see Signs of survival. Think. It is a tractor book, you know Is that okay that it's a tractor book? No, 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 no. There's some pictures. There are. Well, that's cool. Okay. So, a, another... Look at that. Look at that. There's a picture. Oh, yeah. Those are real. Those are photographs. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to read that one. Yes. Okay. Oh, so we have ocean soup, a recipe for you, me, and a cleaner sea. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to see the whale. Wait, wait, wait. The whale. There's a whale. The whale. I don't know about you and your students, but my the students whale. are super fascinated, just a second, and intrigued by the environment and helping save the planet and save the turtles. So anytime you have a book like this, it's definitely something that they are going to be interested in. Oh, I love the art, too. So really excited to dig into ocean soup. These are often laying around the house. Sorry, Elena, my wife. Can um, I open it? Wait, we're not done. A teacher like you. This looks good. Hey, I'm a teacher. Do I look like this teacher? Nice. I love this. I love reading books about school. It's part of the series. A boy like you, a girl like you, a teacher like you. So that'll be fun. Oh, I, I um, June, a, a, a media virus detective by Susan Slade. We Zoomed with Susan earlier this year, and she told us about this book. Uh, she's the woman who discovered the first ever human coronavirus. So as you can imagine, kids are going to be very, very uh, intrigued by this one. I need might, help. I might read this in class tomorrow. Is that okay? I need help. I'm going to read this to my students. Okay. okay. I need help. What do you say? May I? May you please do that? Sure. All right, I'm going to rip it like the Hulk. Is this how you would do it? Oh. Now? He, sure. he does it. Oh, that's a chapter book. Hobbs doesn't really care for chapter books, but that's not fair to Jessica Miller and her book, The Republic of Birds, and that beautiful cover. So, Hobbs, don't be a hater. It says, before the war in the skies, before the map of Tisara. Well, I just so, like um, so, um, books of pictures. You like books of pictures. So, this book looks really good, though. We might have to read this. Do you like birds? I your sister hates birds, so we got to be careful with the birds. birds are... All right, this next box is from Holiday House. Oh, um, can I open this? Not one? gonna lie, there are some books from Holiday House that I'm really excited to this read one? this year. So I I'm gonna you? see. Yeah, I'm gonna open this, the tape, and then you can open it. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers for some books in here. Oh, oh so. my favorite thing! Favorite thing, bubble wrap. Oh yeah. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. All right, so I'm going to talk about these chapter oh, books yeah. really quick while my friend Hobbs plays with those. Oh, that looks good. Hey, there's one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
All right, middle school bites out for blood. I don't know, that just looks like a book the kids are going to love. Stephen Banks, Mark Fearing. 11 year old Tom was bitten by a vampire. Yep, say no more. Book talk itself. The Boogie Bass Sign Language Star. Oh, Claud Claudia Mills. I love Claudia Mills chapter books. She's really good at writing for that reader who's kind of going from picture books and early readers into middle grade novels. Trisha Springstub, the most perfect thing in the I love Trisha's books, uh, her Cody books. She's super talented. She's come to, to Michigan for Nerd Camp a couple of times. My light being out, we lost some light. I actually, Hobbs, look what I put in here, because I knew that light was going out, so we needed a light bulb. Should I put it in really fast? Yeah. Okay, let's shut off the light. Let's see if this works. Sorry for the intermission, folks. And look at these pops. You entertaining everyone? Do you think I got pops out of these I think guys? You pop them. Oh, my light works. Are you sure? Can I sit down? Spyglass Sisterhood. A lot of these I've not heard of yet, so very oh. excited to read these. Here's that. That's the oh. Dead Man's Castle. That looks kind of scary, don't you think? Yeah, deadly. Dead Man's Castle. Let's move this light here a little bit. There. Maybe that'll make it easier to see the covers when we hold them up. Everywhere blue. Like a lot of, like I'm going to have to read the backs of these. Here. Dig in a little bit. I don't know these. There's nothing over here. Six nothing. Feet Below Zero. What a title. Excited for that one. Oh, what do you got there? Violet and the Life of Pi. Can I talk about this? I gotta look all of these. If you only dare, 13 stories of darkness and doom. This is terrifying. Uh, can I see? So many. This is a scary book, Hobbs. I like scary. Um, it might scare you. The people we choose. Whoa, this is cool, actually. It's terrifying, Hobbs. It's not. <laughs> well, oh my good. goodness. Oh, yeah. There's so many books, Hobbs. Ooh, what do we have here? Winslow Homer Payne. Yeah, everything looks cool, Dad. It is? And look at this. Beautiful looking picture book. We have a lot of stuff here. The Postman. Look at this terrifying book. From space. <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> you are wild, man. I'm wild. Like a All right, we only have one more book, Hobbs Sharp. So let's uh, let's open this final book. Let's, okay. let's see what we got. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Some more poppers. All right, dude. Well, all right. But this is another one that looks pretty intense. Jessica Rabinkowski, the bright and the pale. Oh! Trying to pop a bubble wrap over there. Andre the Giant. The Age of Dinosaurs. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is that a chapter? It's a chapter book, but it's got pictures throughout. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I want to... Once Upon a Quinceanera. That looks really good. I feel like I've heard about this book. If Beauty hated the beast and she was constantly outshined by her rich, spoiled cousin and she was stuck completing a work study program in a party princess to as a party princess to earn the last high school credit she needed for her diploma. I, Carmen's happily ever after summer, has just turned into her own personal telenovela nightmare. Looks great. David Williams, the ice monster. That looks kind of awesome. Is that like a mastodon? London, 1889. Ten, this is the story of a 10-year-old orphan and a 10,000-year-old mammoth. I die? I don't know if it dies. All the factors of why I love tractors. Do you like tractors? Yeah. We like tractors. Hobbs likes tractors. Oh, some. I don't like tractors that much, but. Doesn't like them that much. And then Escape at 10,000 Feet by Tom Sullivan. Is that a tractor? Cooper. No, it's not a tractor, actually. He's not a chapter book? It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's just. It's this cool looking nonfiction book. Yeah, I knew it wasn't a tractor. You book. think you know everything? No, no, no. I said it's not about. Books. So those are some of the books that uh, I got in the mail over the last week. I hope you liked uh, Book Mail Volume 1. If it's something you're interested in, let me know. Let me know if I can make it better in any way. If you liked the kid, if you didn't like the kid in the video, it was kind of nice to not be alone yeah. while I filmed. Uh, if you're interested or have any questions about uh, this whole process of getting books and what it's like and the, the good and the bad, uh, let me know 
any questions you have and maybe I can make a more dedicated video to that. But it was fun to just talk books with you and to open some of these amazing things. Hobbs is gonna clean up this mess and I'm gonna go read these books. No! Just kidding, my name is Colby Sharp. Thank you so much for tuning in. No! I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.